Congressman Mike Johnson represents the state of Louisiana. He's been at the very center of this impeachment business for a long time. He joins us tonight. Congressman, well, first I just have to ask, as a, as a personal matter, since this has finally wrapped up as of yesterday with the vote, are you happy to be out of impeachment world? I am so happy, Tucker. I get to go back to my real life. My wife and four kids have been missing me the last few weeks. Uh, this was a, a really a sad chapter in American history. We're glad yeah. it's behind us. So you were obviously watching there at the State of the Union. Um, when you saw the speaker rip the president's speech into pieces, did you take that as a sign of, of politeness, as an, as an expression of kindness and friendship? No, of course not. I mean, it was a shameful display. It was stunning, really, to many members uh, sitting in the House. It was totally unprecedented. It was shameless. And it was also unlawful, Tucker. Um, you know, a lot of people have been talking about this the last 48 hours. And I did a little legal memo to point out to my colleagues that she actually committed a felony when she tore that, that paper up. It wasn't just any copy of the State of the Union address. It was the copy, the original. And we have over two centuries of custom and tradition and, of course, the Constitution that calls for the State of the Union address. Uh, that, that when the president delivers the copies to those top legal officers, the two top legislative officers in that right. co-equal branch of government, those are the official documents of the House. And if you tear those up, you violated a specific statute in the criminal code. We're living in a country where there are more than 10 million foreign nationals here legally whose identities we don't know. <laughs> so, I mean, we're tolerating a lot of illegal behavior, I can yeah, say at the moment, yeah. which is not in any way to excuse what she did. Um, but it does seem kind of Orwellian to describe that as an act of kindness rather than just say, look, I hate the guy. His very words sicken me. I vandalize his speech because it makes me feel good. I mean, why not just say what's obvious? She took great delight in it. And in fact, she practiced the rip. Everybody's seen the, the video now where she yeah. was trying to test it and see how many pages she could she could do. Look, we're, we're losing the decorum. We're losing the tradition of civility yeah. in the Congress and institution. And it's just a, a really sad thing. I don't know how we put this genie back in the bottle. Well, that's, that's kind of the question. I mean, this is an unknowable, I guess, hypothetical, but I still have to ask you. There's been a lot of talk about how this first impeachment in this presidency was the first in a series. Do you think it's possible that Democrats do this again? I think it's not only possible, I think it's probable. I know that I just left the House floor and there's, there's some Democrat colleagues of mine in there who are committed to doing this again. And some of them are openly saying it. So there's not going to be no end to this. And I tell you what, if we don't get the Republican majority back in the House this election yeah. cycle, this fall, uh, we're in for a long, dark road for the country. I'm, I'm, I'm really, I'm really uh, concerned about it. They do that again and Trump will be at 60%, I would think. Oh, yeah. Congressman, I think great so. to see you. Thank you so much. Thanks, Tucker. Appreciate it.